So in this video, we're going to check out the firmware 3.0 keyboard function. So if you want to set up your keyboard, press shift and the middle knob here, and we turn to pads, you go to over to keyboard. You can change whatever type of keyboard you want to use. I'm just going to use the QWERTY keyboard. So how do we access the keyboard? Well, you can do it a couple different ways. First off, let's just try loading. So if you load something, normally you just flip through it. We don't see anything. Now I don't actually have an overlay on this. So you can just press anywhere on here and it'll start to overlay the keyboard on here. And you can see I pressed just a random key and it popped up the keyboard. So what you can do is use this knob right here to scroll through the name. So this has autocomplete so I can just press say R for RC, my initials, and then I can say flip through from there. Also, when you want to save something, press save and we have the keyboard. Now, the layout of the keyboard is pretty easy. So first off, you have the entire keyboard here with the numbers, and this is delete. This is hyphen next to it. So next to the zero is a hyphen. If I hold down, these are shift. So if I hold that down and press one, we have an exclamation point, and then just the letters. So I'm very familiar with the keyboard so I can kind of position my hands the way that I want and just start typing in words. And of course, if you mess up, you just press delete. So start to type, say, guitar. There it is, guitar 01. It's very easy. Once you start getting used to it, it's very simple. So right here we have periods. If you have, let's say I have an audio clip right here, it says audio one. If you want to, you can actually rename tracks. You can rename kits, but you can't rename MIDI tracks for now. So first I'm just gonna go and see, I see that audio one. Now I can't edit it, the name from song view. If I press this, we're in a ranger view. The way I know that is because it's blinking. I'm just gonna scroll through here. There it is. Audio one. So we have audio one here. I'm just gonna count over five and go down three and press this while I'm holding down this of audio one. Now we see the keyboard. So if you have the overlay, it'll say it right there. Otherwise, if you don't, just count over five, go down three. So now we have this highlighted and I'm scrolling through it and let's just delete it. Or I could just scroll to the first letter and just start typing. Let's say this is a guitar, so guitar. Now, if I press back, it's not going to rename it. If I press enter right here, it will. And how do I double check that? Well, we're in a ranger view, so I press this. And you see guitar. Now, if we go out of a ranger view, and we're just looking at the song view, we can find it right there, guitar. Also, let's go into a kit here that has different names. So let's say I want to rename this. So I hold that down and press five over, three down. Now it says the name of it, kick. Let's just call it bass drum. Bass drum, oops, wrong key, there it is. Press enter, and now it's bass drum. If I hold it down, it'll scroll through if we have a long name. Cool thing is we can actually have very long names. So you can see, I'm just typing all sorts of text and now I can scroll back through the whole thing. So if you want to name something really long, you can. And I just press back, and now it's back to bass drum. 